just two, which is actually Affinity's pick, and we will see Cash up next. I'm Mess, joined by Hurricane this evening. Gonna be doing the mm -hmm. color action and see how they set things up here on the pistol. We got chest armor with four guys across the board in that all important kit on JDM. And it looks like it's gonna be a fast, long take as Fox actually gets the frag on the haze, but a quick trade out by Tarek. And then another trade by Jason R to drop him. So now the Terrorists have the man advantage, which is huge as the other two defenders on the opposite side of the map. It's gonna be a lot on JDM here. It's actually, he's walled off by that smoke, stuck in CT spawn, and the bomb has now been planted. So great start to the round by Affinity. As FNS trying to chime in and get back into this game, he comes up, Catwalk and picks up one. Gonna have to storm the site. Meanwhile, JDM just biding his time to come up through CT spawn. Sees Jason R on the ramp and picks up the headshot with the Glock to bring it down to just finesse. Somewhat planted for long, but with three players left, he really doesn't have a chance here. Can't find that kit either that JDM had. And Affinity will win the important Terrace pistol round. Absolutely, yeah. Very, very well done by Affinity there. Going out long, catching both players from CLG, going, trying to just establish long control by themselves in that instant headshot kill, giving the terrorists complete real estate at long, leaving Davey back at actually to disrupt the rotates from the CT. So really well done by Affinity. I love the strategy. Great placement by players and Arya already on top of his game. We're going into this anti-eco CLG. Putting just playing standard here, three two, two players towards B three, three at long, and then Affinity kind of spread out here. I don't really like how spread out they're going to be, leaving one player at, at, for that B push. It's Davy, but they have three players just wolf packed in middle, uh, gaining control together. So let's see uh, where they can go from this. It looked like maybe they were you know playing that eco rush, but uh, CLG looks like they're going to try to wait to bait Affinity up close and use those uh, OP pistols. They got three five sevens. The CZ on FNS, and of course the P250 on JDM, who likely wants to get himself an op as soon as he can. And Abe will find JDM peeking out long with that Galil to open up the round for the Terrace. And this gives them a lot of options, doesn't it, Hurricane? Absolutely. I mean, you get that you get that kill long. That's the only player honoring long. And you have the rest of Fendi coming up uh, catwalk here. They spotted out Tarek <laughs> shooting, his, shooting his rump, but uh, he didn't come out. Cutler getting a nice headshot on the Davy, answering right back. So he's staying under the cover of CT spawn. Affinity has full A control. FNS and the remaining uh, CLG player, Hayes, uh, kind of just grouped up together middle here. Looks like they're trying to make the decision, uh, you know, let's just go for X here. This is a very expensive round for the CTs. I hate... I hate, I hate, I hate the CT buy-up on the second round. On Terrorist, if you have Tech 9s, totally makes sense. But with how CT positioning is on uh, Antiquos, I don't really like it too much, and we're seeing why here. CT is kind of digging a hole from themselves. Affinity just hitting tons of shots, playing the Antico beautifully, just grouped up together with three players. Uh, one player trying to go long for CLG, got punished for it by, by Ace. And uh, again, very standard round by Affinity here. Finesse and Cutler both surviving, head armor, 5-7, CZ. So let's see if they can make an impact with that. Um, if I were CLG personally, I would try to group up those players together and kind of make them dictate the action after the three other players. So, for example, pushing three players upper B and then those two players going middle together. Something similar to that. Um, let's see uh, what they do, though. Yeah, like you said, Affinity doing a very nice job of kind of keeping their distance, drawing out that push, but it's going to be a fast B take coming, storming out of the tunnels. No nades in their way as, again, CLG forced on pretty much the full save when they went with the pistol armor by. They've got two frags to get them entry into the site, and Tarek just trying to take a few pot shots and forced to back out, and he's burned alive by Fox outside the window. Just like that, it's down to Just Cutler. He's got himself that 5-7. In a dream, hoping to get some exit kills, and no, it's going to be Arya storming him down with the 5-7 of his own. And a clean sweep from Affinity, they didn't lose anyone in the process, and I like that play, realizing that CLG was on the full save there. Absolutely. I think that was a part of the decision-making behind it, and as well as just giving CLG a different look here. I mean, we're, we're dealing with some of the, the, you know, one of the best North American Counter-Strike teams here, and Finney's here trying to make, trying to prove something. So going from a very standard Antico where you're all grouped up to just straight up rushing, I love the different look. As we're going very long, very quick long action here, Jason are actually already out. JDM getting a spam on Abe at long. Really well done here. There's two players for Affinity, a third one coming up in Aria. So they're, they have a, quite the you know, task here. Cutler and JDM grouped up at long. 
Yeah, and it looks like they're trying to force the issue there, but uh, CLG kind of giving up Cat with FNS just kind of keeping them honest there from the rant position. Meanwhile, you see Davey just kind of holding the cross in mid at Xbox as Affinity already on the back foot here in the first gun round. But uh, Arya does have that op in his hand. Let's see where he's at. He's actually still at Long Doors waiting for that smoke to dissipate. Jason R picks up the frag in a pit, but look how close JDM is here at the blue dumpster. Absolutely. And oh, Jason checks it anyway, so he doesn't care. Davey already up long, getting caught with the smoke, and Finesse punishes him for it. Goes back in, he knows he's at a disadvantage here. Three players coming long. He's he's CT spawned. The rotates just aren't quick enough right now, but looks like he, he doesn't care. Trying to do some damage there. Only does 20 to Jason. Crossing. Does a little bit more to Fox. So we have Karik flanking long right now. Finesse getting a great kill on Jason there. Both terrorists grouped up together. Arya now just going long, and Tarek is there to punish Arya. Great job. And that was now perfect timing three by three on one. I was worried it was going to be a little bit late. Oh, and FNS from CT Spawn. He was there the entire time. Gets himself a clutch 3K down to 13 HP. They'll get to defuse Sans Kit. And CLG gets on the board in a gun round, largely due to that play from Finesse. Just patient play in CT Spawn there. Yeah, I, I I really initially agreed with his uh, backup there. I just didn't think I did, I didn't think when he made that decision to back up into spawn, he didn't know that his teammate was that close to be able to trade. So he went in there just trying to do some early damage, caught that player in T uh, or in the A site, which I think set the table for them beautifully. But the thing is, Affinity able to rebuy as they had a pretty successful first three rounds, uh, getting several plants. And they still keep the op in Arya's hands, and it looks like they're going to take early mid control off that smoke, but there's two up catwalk, and I think Fox, I don't know if he saw him, he shoulder peeked, I thought he did, but Pete's with a molly, and JDM makes him pay for it, so now already Affinity on the back foot, foot again, surrendering the initial frag to CLG. Yeah, I love putting. I love JDM's, you know, just style and how much they pay attention to him when he's playing with the CLG roster, putting him in an excellent spot to get that first kill. Excellent job, and Finney pop flashing catwalk, getting that control, picking up two kills. JDM answers right back, and now he's in the safety of spawn, throwing some counter flashes, avoid, trying to get Jason R to back off, and he's just not blind enough. Brings on the 35 HP, Tark on the rotate as well, and oh wow, great backup there by Tark. Navy up catwalk with him and oh here comes Abe coming along punishing Tark for not for not watching it JDM still in spawn hazed on the rotate going Xbox right now so looks like Davey's gonna try to just get this plant down and I don't know maybe plant for long but I think that's a bad idea knowing that JDM is spawn with an op yeah and he really didn't have the help also had to watch out for that nade there it is Hayes connects from Catwalk, but immediately answers, does Abe with that headshot. So it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario. JDM is in CT spawn, and I believe Abe knows that he is there. And he takes him out with the frag as he peeks towards the elevator side. So Affinity getting back on the board, and they seem to do a really nice job of responding to giving up that first frag. They did it two rounds in a row, even though they did lose that first gun round. And that's, you know, just the benefit of having a player like Arya on the squad. I've played with Arya a few times, and I've played against him, and I just know that he's a very good mid-round decision maker. So he's keeping them composed and organized, even though they're down a man, and it's working out great. Money reset for CLG. They have five sevens. Pop flash long, catching Davey completely off guard. And there's the first entry, but like we said, it's just not enough for this affinity squad. Fox getting that kill on the Tark. They know that they're pushed up long, so the rotate's gonna be very long for, for Hayes here. He's gonna have to stand up and get this kill. Great pop flash, but he wasn't able to capitalize onto it. JDM and uh, FNS outside of B, just trying to poke around, see if they can get an early kill. Cutler trying to go lower, pick up a, another player off guard. Got a one-on-one -on -one fight, but it's just not enough. This save is is just trying to do as much damage to the economy of, of the terrorists as possible. Yeah, not too bad. They, they did pick up a couple of frags there, but uh, you know, pretty good misdirection as the four of them staged up in B-tons after that initial entry. Uh, I believe it was long. Yeah, so wonderful job by there. Great, uh, just, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure that wasn't the strategy, so to speak, that, hey, just go along, see if they're there, and if they're there, we go B. I'm pretty sure that was just a reroute because of the positioning. But I digress, we're going in. Terrace trying to go for long. They're really contesting CLG for this, and they have a great progression. Counter flashes come in, and here comes the trade. Jason coming up on top with two, putting them in the lead, but this is another save from CLG. Just how it just shows how expensive it is for the CTs to operate. Yeah, absolutely. And it all started with those first three uh, rounds that Affinity was able to get, and despite losing that first gun round, able to buy 
in that previous round, which got them back into the economic control. So now Hayes, all he has is a P250 going to creep up catwalk and bait out that nade. Pretty much know he's there, and he's just going to back off, and I don't know, maybe he hopes for an exit kill, but you know, really nothing to save here as Affinity looking quite strong here on T-side Dust on their map pick. I guess, as you said, one of the better teams in the NA community, one of the best. They started out 4-0 here in CeeLo and Affinity trying to prove something here. It'll be another gun round coming up. CLG needs to answer because if they lose this, they could be on a save again. They don't have a ton of money. And, of course, JDM going all in, getting that op again. Actually, it's a double op setup. Yeah, you got Tarek op. with the secondary op. So even more of a gamble now with the double op. They just don't have a lot of money to work with. Um, they did build up a three-round or three round uh, losers bonus. So they should be able to buy Famasas maybe next round if all if, you know if some kills come in. So, but it's still very expensive to operate here. Affinity taking over lower together. Jason and Davy, I like this uh, setup where you take middle from lower, get the pop flash from the guy back cat, so you can you know stop that JDM pick that we mentioned a little bit earlier when you get a little boost uh, on the catwalk. So uh, they they did their middle progression. They have control of it. The CT's actually honoring a mid-B split here with the 2-1-2 setup. So, you know, they're ready for the potential of this uh, B setup. They're giving them catwalk control, so the Terrace can do whatever they want at this point. So it just depends on, you know, how well or how much uh, real estate the CT's give up. Yeah, and I think uh, this is something Affinity's cluing into is that more often than not, CLG has conceded catwalk, only having Finesse kind of playing it from car normally, and actually you have JDM with the op, and they're going to use that smoke Ooh, to maybe send Arya over the top. Did he get over into CT spawn? No, no, he's boosted. Just, yeah, head stack. Great vantage point over that. Very surprising, but unfortunately, there's just no CTs there to, you know, surprise with. Um, nice little molly smoke, I guess, for an instant. Um, bloom for the cross. They're taking over um, Catwalk right now. Bomb on Jason R. They're getting, a, getting him across elbow, and here's JDM making an impact. Moved all the way back to pit. And wow, what a strong position to stop this. But, you know, they added that new plant spot on Catwalk. Abe picks up a, a kill on long. JDM in a hard spot here, but there's three retaking CTs from the spawn area. Davey at Xbox, he's going to be make a huge impact on this round. And you see an Abe already trying to contest JDM in the pit, but JDM sniffs him out and gets the frag. He's trying to move up long quickly, but it's Fox with the op from Goose. He's the last terrorist standing. He was in a one-on-three, now in a one-on-two. And it will be Cutler finishing things off. He gets two round or two kills to close out the round. Will collect that second op, so they are able to. But they don't have time to defuse. They're forced to back off and concede the round to Affinity. But again, they did get those ops and save them. So as you said, with the losing bonus, they probably can rebuy if they want to force up around these two ops. Which at this point, they probably should. Oh, I, I completely agree. I mean, even just with both of those ops, the equipment value is just about half of Affinity. So uh, here, here comes the buy up from them. We're going to see it even up a little bit. It looks like Finney's just in the lead with 3,000. So, uh, you know, the ops can make such a huge impact here. It looks like they're going for a double peak and they actually don't find that player. Who was that? That was Fox. Luckily, he, uh, he did a little strafe jump and got out of the way. And actually, Terrace already in B. And there's only one player here, Hayes, to take it. He gets traded out by Davey. The Terrace have full B control now. Fox in middle here to disrupt all of the rotate. There's only one player, JDM outside of B. Here comes Cutler clearing out middle. Isn't it, doesn't have a traitor. There he is. Tarek gets that kill back. And now Affinity have plenty of time to get an after plant positioning and CLG on the retake. Yeah, and of course they are held off by that smoke. Like you said, only JDM was close, but that wall of smoke at the front door prevented him from taking any peaks with this op. And it looks like they are going to go for it, even though none of them has a kit. Perhaps one of the teammates dropped one, but time is ticking away. It's the two ops coming through the door. Tarek tries to get Davey, but the pistol comes out for JDM, and Davey will finish the round off. Looks like he's not even going to try to pick up, or maybe he did get an op. He did. That's a 3K for him, and Affinity has officially won the half with eight rounds, and CLG pretty much forced to save. Well, actually, they could probably force it up if they want to go for Masses again. It looks like they will. Although I don't even know if they're going to be able to get JDM an op this time. I really liked, I think, the decision making behind going to that B spot for uh, for Affinity there. I mean, thinking, hey, they have two ops. Where do you think they're going to put their ops? Middle and long? Okay, let's go B then. I mean, it's pretty simple uh, when you when you break it down like that. So I like that they, I think they went for the fight that they wanted to engage and it worked out great. Davey yeah, they completely caught them off guard. And as you mentioned in the early round, they said both ops long. And all they had was the FAMAS on Hayes that beat. 
So that yeah, was just but, yeah. very advantageous round. And look at that spray from Jason. Oh, oh, oh. Holy smokes, the 180 spray down catches Finesse and Pitt with the AK, and they've got complete control of Long in the A site. As it was actually Davey moved up, I think, from Catwalk, and now it's just down to Tarek. All he's got is Famas, and he's in a fight with the Opera. That's Ari in mid, does pick up the frag. And without a kit, probably just wants to grab this op and hang on to it. Yeah, but I mean, how, how long until, you know, we really need to force the issue here? CLG down 9-1 to Affinity. The, you know, I don't want to call them upstarts because a lot of these players have been around forever, but this team in itself just has a lot to prove, and they're doing a great job of it so far, proving themselves on this Terror side and Dust 2. They looked very practiced, lots of practical decision-making on the strategic side all across the map. I love the positioning and the spacing. Um, they're, you know, they're just doing such a good job here. I like I've I like uh, Arya's strat calling very much so. Yeah, great timing by them so far. And you see a quick rush by JDM up catwalk. Gets quickly taken out by Jason R after dropping Abe. And meanwhile, it looks like FNS is uh, pushing out long. So they'll move up catwalk. They've got the intel that the A side is clear. But actually, it looks like they're trying to reverse back to mid. I think that's actually a bit of a miscue this time by Affinity as the bomb is kind of stranded there at Catwalk, but it will be Davey taking out FNS. They're just going for the frags. No need to worry about the bomb plant. As they only lose one in the process, it's Abe, and Affinity has double-digit rounds on T-side on their map pick so far. They are cruising. Yeah, they really are. They're really, um, you know, just forcing the issue here. I mean, what does CLG do at this point? What What is really the Achilles heel? And I don't think it's vi it's one, you know, thing. I think they're just losing these fights all across the map. It's not like... Uh, Affinity is exploiting one certain area and like a player is playing bad, but Arya picking up a kill on to Tarek and that leaves only one player at B again. It's Hayes throwing a little pop out through the core. I see all four with that little flash icon, but he gets spammed to 18 HP at, through the door. The CL, all of CLG on the rotate, and man, I feel like I've said it's a that four about man save. 10 times so far. Ooh. Well, actually, it looks like Cutler might hang. Maybe look for some exit kills. He is just outside of B doors on the ramp. The grenades come flying out, forcing him to backpedal. As yes, he is gonna live to fight another day. Is man, Affinity just really exploiting the set, the early round setups of CLG as they've kind of keyed into the fact that Hayes has been the solo B player, and more often than not, he's rotated out into mid on top of the ramp. So they catch him at double doors when they send three guys strong through tunnels. And again, the op gets caught early as Tarek was taken out at mid doors. So mm -hmm. uh, the double op setup hasn't worked, like you said. Uh, they really just don't have an answer for what Affinity is doing because they've had some really, uh, really good reads in the early rounds and in the mid round. Yeah, I mean, if you get the if you get the first kill, you know, it's always a good thing. There's a all, there was a stat from uh, Gotfrag Ancient website for all you newer new viewers. Um, they uh, they did a study with a bunch of matches where if you get the first kill in the round, there was a greater chance of 50% that you uh, you win the round. So you want to get that first pick. If any, doing a great job getting that first pick, reading where CLG is going to rotate, and then you know just completely disrupting it. So the the positioning that that uh, that Ari is putting these players in is doing great. And Jason getting a nice trade after FNS got the slick headshot coming out from long. Terrace give get full long control. CLG is out of dodge there. And now it's these B players. I think really here's the difference or what CLG needs to do with this type of stuff. Affinity likes to take mi uh, you know map control early, very quickly. If you're on the opposite side of that, I think CLG needs to push through, i.e. they need to push through B that round. But I digress. Arya taking up Catwalk, getting that kill, leaving only JDM at Goose, and he's just getting absolutely pinched. Oh. Arya getting another kill. Did he jump down and get that? Yeah, he jumped down and hit it through the corner of the box and killed Hayes and CT spawn. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. And Tarek, again, forced to save to hang on to that op. His affinity, they're just steamrolling right now. It's not even like these rounds are that particularly close. We saw a four-man save the previous round, and now it's down to just Tarek. And affinity, they're going to pick up a 12th. So I would, if I were, if I were CLG at this point, I would try to make, uh, or excuse me, if I was CLG, I would try to make Affinity um, play my game. And what I mean by that is I would want to initiate the contact versus them initiating the contact. Get two players in trade position, push them up upper B, do a smoke middle so you can get to lower, do some sort of crunch, really just disrupt the positioning of Affinity and make them make mid round decisions and make them, you know, regret them, you know. 
catch them off guard, but no, it's always Affinity setting the table for themselves and, uh, you know, you know, establishing the dominance and then leveraging it into these sites. And actually, it looks like they are doing it, because at least your suggestion, because CLG pushing B-tons, they pick up that opening frag onto Davy. now they're going to back off into Bs. It looks like they're going for that mid to be split, but they don't have the man for the split. But Fox answers in middle. He's looking for a second one onto Tarek. And Tarek, all in his lonesome in the site, finally gets taken out by Jason R. So despite the opening frag going the way of CLG off of that initial aggression, Affinity again responds as they get the bomb planted with a three on three. And Fox being very aggressive at the window, turns away at the wrong time. I think he thought a flash was coming through. And that was not the case. And Abe really in no position to contest this defuse. Probably just looking to pick up the frag. He misses the flick shot onto JDM. And FNS will get to defuse Sans Kit and CLG finally getting back on the board after that first gun round way back in round four. <laughs> what was that, 2007? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we saw, a while. Some, we saw some uh, great B aggression exactly on cue to make me look like a genius, but I uh, promise <laughs> you folks that's not the case. Um, I'm... I'm, I have plenty of deficiency of in my brain. So, uh, but uh, like I said, the, you know they had the aggression. I love the thought process behind that, but they just missed that one key that they needed someone to watch their middle for a minute. It would have worked out even better. But good for good on CLG to fight back in this match. And a little aggression from the JDM mid Xbox. I think they spotted him as that smoke came in. That nade drops him down to 57 HP as he is forced to back off. And you see. CLG moving up catwalk, getting a little bit of intel. They know they're mid. But with the bomb stage up in lower tunnels, I could see them going towards B, and it looks like JDM suspects that as well. He's going to drop back into the B site with that op to help his teammate Hayes, who's actually playing at the vents. So yeah, now they're somewhat conceding middle. Yeah, they really are. I don't I don't agree with the setup at B at all. I think that Hayes needs to be watching middle and then let and let uh, JDM watch B tunnels, but that's null. Arya getting a kill at A and Tark answers right back. Way to way to even up the numbers there, bud. So gets that pick long and he's falling back. Arya going up catwalk, catches Tark, trying to get to a position to watch that. He's he's strafing out, trying to get to elbow and Cutler is in sight to punish him for it. Fox and his buddy Abe coming out long. Getting that trade on the Cutler, and now this is an A site for Affinity. Pretty bad smoke. JDM should be able to get that pick crossing, but they know they know there's a little gap there. Flash so that they can make up for it. And now they're doing a cap setup here. Davy on the stairs. Looks like Abe's gonna be right next to him, and then Fox just staying near elbow area, just you know watching any sort of ramp push up. Hayes all alone. Cat. He's on a. He's oh, on he's a gonna get burned. He's burned. barbecued. <laughs> no, and JDM the last man standing, and they take him out from Cowok, and Affinity wins the half third. 15 to 2. Ouch. Only two gun rounds for CLG from CT side. Just, uh, I mean, what, what, what can you say? I mean, obviously CLG was making some mistakes. I feel like, especially in the later rounds, like those last three or four, they were a little on tilt. I mean, what was that wide peak from Tarek up cat where he got that opening frag to even it up? Then Aria answers right back, just playing passively with the op from cat Tarek exposes him and they take him out. And it's it's just been kind of... I don't want to say a bunch oh. of errors, but small mistakes that in Affinity has taken advantage of. Absolutely. I think what the takeaways from this bad performance by CLG so far is the lack of adjustments and definitely those little deficiencies, like, you know, probably Tark's biggest criticism is, you know, his lack of vision to see the round being played out. How important just his body being alive in the round can make <laughs> i mean he's such a playmaker sometimes he gets a little bit too involved where you know it's all or nothing i need to get this kill or it's not or i'm i'm a you know not useful like no dude like you know just because you you exist <laughs> makes the decision making hard we got some quick action here clg getting that early cat cat uh picks they have the control and now affinity just getting out of b Arya gets killed and jason r was playing b originally there's a nice day he's only up to 20 hp um and well, spawn that Fox was gonna catch him they know where he's <laughs> at though b yeah, completely he's... open they're gonna waltz in and plant it and of course fox and jason are really not in position to contest this in fact uh fox is still <laughs> over it long yeah fox just completely out of position here I, I don't think affinity was you know they they were bolstered their cat presence and it was shut down immediately so i think because of how quickly the those cat players went um affinity was just kind of caught off guard and the positioning is going to be very late looks like they're they're honoring more of their 
you know, they want to keep their armor more than they want to even try to attempt this round. Fox at complete 100, so he'll be able to buy the $350 fabled second round head armor that you know, <laughs> just makes the everyone happy. Rate. Everyone loves that one. <laughs> So, Absolutely. Jason R having a kit as well, so th those are, can be pretty valuable going to this next round, which just, you know, points all things that they're probably going to buy up and go full in, and yep, that's the case. Fox getting a scout. I face Palm more and more as I see this happening, so we'll see if, uh, you know, they can make me wrong. Uh, uh, out of every map, Dust2 buying up these scouts and going middle and, and long with them, you know, it does make sense. So uh, we'll see if uh, they can get these pristine headshots that everyone wants. Maybe a jumping one so we can see complaints about the hitboxes and whatnot. But uh, CLGs just doing their standard anti-eco, just one person watching long, one B, and then everyone else uh, middle, just making sure no shenanigans are happening on the Affinity side. Affinity, on the other hand, playing very Amoeba-like. Uh, just moving around. There's not really set positions, it looks like. Arya all the way up top mid. Finds JDM, gets a one-on-one, -on -one, and oh man, if Arya would have got that kill, it would have really made some uh, some heads turn. Yeah, actually, Arya didn't even touch JDM 100 HP. Kind of weird. Uh, yeah, that was but... a strange engagement. I don't think Arya expected to see him there, as Tarek will open up the A site, at least temporarily, on the, on the Dady with that headshot. But... It's like Abe gonna answer right back with the scout. Jason R gonna come through the smoke. There's actually a little bit of a sliver there, so he does get the frag on the targets. Now a two on two, so this buy actually paying off for Affinity. They've got the bomb down at ramp as well, but Hayes is gonna find the rotator in the middle. That's gonna be Fox. So now it's all up to Jason R on his lonesome. Comes out swing with the five seven, but Hayes gets the better of him with his AK forty seven, just the better equipment, had the hand armor as well. And CLG though, they lost uh, a, quite a bit of equipment in that round. They did. But I mean, Affinity went all in. So you know, there's what when you when we speak of economy rounds, it's with the sense that they're building their economy. When you buy up head armor and like that's a buy round, dude. So you better be expecting to win. Right. And uh, and Affinity did not, not win. So now they're even a bigger hole. Arya going for another scout. So he's just probably gonna be scouting these first few rounds. And Affinity just doing a you know a lot of crazy stuff here, Davy. Pushed up middle, there's Presence Catwalk, and CLG gets that read, and they're going long already. And you see Abe just biding his time on the A site, waiting for them to get in close so we can hopefully connect with that silence USB, but does not. Tarek takes him out with a quick headshot, and we'll see Cutler plant safely for Goose. And there's actually one. It's Aria with the jumping scout. Oh, Tarek's going to be a little bit salty about oh, that one. Cutler gets the quick trade out. Yeah, he did. He got the jumping scout shot on the Tarek. <laughs> Unreal. It's so OP, but that's the only frag of the round. Tarek does go down. So CLG hand on the business, getting the first three off that pistol round win. And we will see Affinity buy up. But you see it's kind of a, a bit of a weak buy. None of them have head armor, although going up against AKs, that's not a big deal. But that's because they went with that full-on second round buy. Yeah, I mean, if, if if they would have just been patient, maybe thrown her away that second round and bought the third, you could have surprised by them with the Thamasis. Or, you know, if you kind of double save or save that first round or that first eco and then third round, you know, buy maybe five sevens. And then this round, you know, you'd have Molotovs and smokes with everything. You know, there's a few kits missing, too. So, uh, uh, actually, you know, nobody has just, a kit. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you know what I mean? Like, this second round buy on CT just doesn't make sense to me. Arya getting a nice headshot on the JDM, just strafing out. Perfect crosshair placement. And CLG working that catwalk control. Hayes spamming through the smoke, catches Arya off guard. And now it's up to Davy and Fox here to hold catwalk. They actually have three players towards A. And now CLG just getting a good read about this now. You know, they put the, they got that early kill middle. They've made that presence catwalk. And then, you know, they're making, they're letting Affinity think about this. You know, where are we going to rotate? Where do we think they're going to go? They're showing signs of a mid B here. They just throw the smoke. No one acting on it, though. They're waiting for it to bloom. Tar coming out, getting a little flashbang. So it's going to be up to Fox's teammate actually full blinding him. And Tarek doesn't see him on the edge here. Here comes the engagement. Fox comes up on top. FNS gets that trade. Abe pushing through long. Davy getting a kill through the smoke on the cross. And Jason R in B getting a kill onto Hayes. So they have full upper B control. Cutler alone and a one on three. Looks like he's just going to get the bomb down. You know, team first. Make sure we have the economy right. Jason not pushing up from tunnels to try to stop that plant. So great play by him to just play the teamwork here. You're up so much. Why don't you play the numbers? Oh, and he does connect with the headshot to close out the round. That's his second kill. They'll get the easy defuse. And Affinity two rounds away from 
the map victory on their map pick. Again, it's a BO2. They're looking to get their first win of the season. Actually, no, I believe they have one win. That was against Ace Gaming, but uh, they're looking to get their second. And against a, a team the caliber of CLG, that would be quite impressive. So CLG certainly on the back foot. Obviously going to force it up to contest them getting to that all-important tie round. And it looks like they do get the op in JDM's hands. So, you know, decent buy for them. The only person really light on the nades is JDM. Of course, that's because of the op. Yeah, it really is. JDM getting the better of Arya there. No scout shenanigans this time, my friend. Spams him right in the head. We got some long aggression here. Hayes already out. Blue bin. Davey getting across 100 HP, but that flashbang catches him. Easy kill there for Hayes. And now it's all up to Abe out here. All four in front of him through X-Ray. Cutler getting that kill. FNS up Catwalk getting the kill onto a box from Elbow. Jason R on the rotate just trying to make some magic happen here. Kills FNS. They know all the players are long, but it's one on four. Jason rerouting. Just too readable of a play right there. All four players trained on the exact same angle. He's just getting out. Looks like he's conceding the bomb site all together. He's just going to be saving his weapon. Yeah, and that's kind of unfortunate because you take a look at the health of CLG. You got two guys on death's door, a Tarek and Cutler. And Tarek has 15. I mean, they had 20 HP be between them, and CLG at half health. You know, he might have been able to get a couple of, of, of more equipment drops there, but I think this is the smart play. You take a look at their money. Uh, they're pretty broke, so they might not even buy after this round. Absolutely. They, they don't have any losing bonus. They'll probably just let Jason, you know, see what he can do with that M4. Meanwhile, CLG trying to build up ahead of steam, although their economy, despite having three round wins, not that stellar either. They got to start building up the eco if they if they want to be in it for the long road ahead because they still got several rounds to make up here. Yeah, when especially just with the dynamic of how the rounds played on the second half, you know. Well, uh, team A wins the pistol rounds and the anti egos then the team B wins the first gun round and then team A wins you know that that Ill, little interaction right there with the money resets can just you know really change the dynamic of the match as you see affinity just you know they got about $1400 for that for that uh round loss as as the, the uh the loss bonus is just getting kicked in. Affinity know that. Doing a little bit of an out-of-bounds play here. They're putting four long and just pushing through. And CLG, three players in B tunnels. Bomb is still in T-spawn, and there's only one player at back cat here. So if Fox actually pushes through, he gets a one-on-one, -on -one, which could, you know, really make some interesting things happen here. Yeah, he is going to come out. FNS doesn't see him. Gets a couple of shots in the side, but the 90-degree turn connects as he does pick up that initial frag. And really not a whole lot of intel either. He only sees the one player. And meanwhile, the four T's in tunnels get that frag onto Arya. They're going to make sure that there aren't any stacked. Look at all the nades come out at the fence. They guess wrong is there's no one there. In fact, there is no one in the B site, period. You got one in CT spawn and one still kind of at the top of mid. And it looks like Jason R backing off to pit to prepare for another save. And Davey uh, probably just going to try to find himself some exit kills if he can. And CLG hoping to keep all five alive to, as we said, start building that economy for the road ahead. Yeah, and I mean, they're doing a great job of it, all five alive. Way more important than hunting kills. This is, you know, one of the deficiencies of North American CS, I guess you could say, that, you know, just lack of strategy here. Who cares if they save... You know, this M4 and P250, you have all five alive. You're in a you're in a comeback situation. You need money, you know, to exactly. be able to buy every round, you know. It, it's and just keep that up in JDM's priority. hands, especially. Yeah, so, you know, just stay safe. I, I, I guess they didn't go too out of line with how, you know, how how much effort they put into hunting these players down. So all five alive for for CLG, the money stacks up even more. Everyone above 4K, which is great. And the CTs still scrounging, you know, in their pockets, looking in their jeans for in the laundry for <laughs> any sort of quarters or twenty dollar bills to afford another flashbang. And uh, it's just a hard hard life there on Affinity. But I mean, hey, you're up, so you're feeling good about it. But you need to do these little better money practices. I thought that gamble second round. I mean, you know, we're still feeling the effects of it into, you know, almost halfway through the second half. These decisions are very big and make such a huge impact that, you know, you wouldn't really think about it too much. JDM getting a kill onto Fox. I'm not exactly sure where that was. But, uh, again, Affinity saving here. They're doing a little bit of, uh, you know, they're playing standard with Deagles and P250s. So, you know, you could, you could pretty much be granted that uh, they're going to be losing most of these gunfights. 
and no one in the B side. Affinity has gambled towards the mid with Jason R using that M4, but he's starting to get an inkling that they're coming towards B as he has moved back to the double door. He's going to flash himself in and peek. A little bit of a mistiming there. I think he did actually see one. Maybe he didn't. He hasn't seen a rotate just yet. That's going to be Ari going down to FNS, and of course, CLG has already gotten intel that B is completely open. They moved into the site. They'll get it planted, and Jason R will save that M4 for a third time. <laughs> Things ancient. And A finds himself an AK, so, you know, just really playing the money game. And as you said, a lot of this is because of that, the economic implications of that second round buy. Now you're seeing CLG gamble a bit with their money. Uh, they're, they're on the hunt. All five of them actually were on the hunt. Yeah, absolutely. This is the perfect time that you be, you want to be hunting. Um, after getting all five live, you spot out where Abe is. Hayes goes down. Jason gets down. Oh, the, now it's not looking too good here. But Tark answers right back, gets that off. He's going to be saving it. And Jason R, again, saving that, saving that M4 from 2006. It's been in his family for quite <laughs> some time. It's an heirloom. And uh, Terrace, all the money in the world. They don't care. Great decision to just go hunting for it. You know, you're only one round away from being a tie, so just go for it. And, uh, you know, everything they're doing on T's is looking pretty good here. Uh, but this is this is only the second full gun round that they're going to be forced here. So don't think oh. too quick. But JDM makes me eat my words. But Ari answers right back. And that's both. That's a sniper down for for the terrorist here. Let's see if this, their positioning, you know, with how they're doing it. It's pretty much a default setup here for CLG. They have one player long, one B, two working middle together. They used to have a third, but Ari took his head off. And now Abe pushing through long here. He has a one-on-one -on -one with Hayes. And, oh, man, Hayes coming out on top there. Great engagement, I think, by Abe. Just unfortunate that Hayes just hit the pristine strafe-out headshot. And now Affinity on the back heel here. Three on four. Tarek just holding the angle, and he doesn't get the kill. I mean, you're prepared for that peak. I don't understand how you how you missed that. But, uh, hey, what can I say? Arya smoking him off, hazed with him. So we have the terrorists grouped up here. They can make a great mid-round decision and, uh, you know, do whatever they want. They have cat control. Yeah, they've got him spread out. But meanwhile, you actually do have Davey flanking from long. And if he gets in position here, he can pick up an easy frag on a Tarek. He does. Looking for a second on the haze. That's bomb. It actually vaulted it up to Cutler. And he's going to get caught with a nade in his hand as Cutler does back up and pick up that frag. So now it's all even. Even Steven two on two. And it looks like they want to make a play towards the A side as Hayes picks up Aria on the rotate. So now Fox all by himself. Cutler kind of in a unadvantageous position, but a nice molly. Waiting for his yeah. teammate to flank from long, but Fox is already kind of cutting off the angle. Hayes coming out quickly. Cutler steps out and takes Fox down, so they will get another round. That's four in a row after succumbing to that first gun round. And that's seven for them so far in this half. So the comeback is real at this point. CLG, their money is looking pretty good. And meanwhile, Affinity, uh, some guys are decent. Jason are at 7,800. They could probably force up. But it actually looks like they're going to play the smart conservative play here and just to go with some pistol upgrades. And, you know, Fox and Davey spending a little bit of money. Actually, they're going with kind of a half pistol armor buy here. Just well, kind of I mean, money equalization, I think. Yeah, Tark hits the head of Arya. Too much decision making in spawn, making him jump up on that B platform a little too late there. Tark capitalizes on it. CLG smelling blood, already taking B, and now this little half buy just doesn't even matter at this point. Nice pop flash by Jason. You don't see that one too much off of the pole. And now Abe and Fox just, you know, kind of chilling here. There looks like they're just going to go for, a, you know, try to find if CLG makes a mistake. Gives them some one-on-one -on -one fights, but Fox saving that gun long. Abe just waiting catwalk. And let's talk a little bit about the decision making um, behind Affinity in that round. That you know they went for that half buy, and I mean it didn't work out great. But with, in that position, with how much money each player had, and how far along the money or how far along their loss bonus is, they will, will without question be able to double op even if they wanted to next round. So good on them to you know just know the equipment values in their heads and uh, make that decision making to uh, 
to really uh, try to get a little bit of an advantage and not just, you know, fight them with yeah, starter pistols. Right. So, but... They're not completely conceding the round. They realize they have a little bit of disposable income, so to speak, with that losing bonus. So, you know, they spend that little bit extra to try to make something happen. And sometimes that can be the difference between an eco round win, which would completely flip this game on its head. Instead, CLG does come out on top. That's five in a row for them. And as you said, plenty of money for Affinity to buy up. They do have an op in Ari's hands again, and we'll see where that goes to start off this round. We've seen JDM and him square off at mid many, many times, but uh, really no contesting this time around as the mid doors are smoked off. But you already see the CTs moving up catwalk. That's two of them from Affinity, both Aria and Davey, as Davey's going to boost Aria to get a look down into B-tons. No one there. Meanwhile, the CLG is creeping out long as Abe doesn't really have a good angle, but he's starting to suspect that they're going to come out long. He has no idea how many are coming, though. Yeah, but it looks like Fox, you know, pretty aware of it. They're they're placed so loose at B that, uh, you know, they, they probably want them to come on. So Abe gets that nice kill. Here comes the execute. Smoke for the cross. Molotov's all up in that site. They know no one's in there. And Affinity just playing back here. We got two players grouped up at elbow. Davey at catwalk. And then we already have a flank coming in very slow from Fox. Arya getting that kill on Tarek. And man, CLG is in a pretty bad spot here, all things considering. But, uh... Kills coming in, three on t three on four, and uh, Affinity looking to get on this retake. Yeah, and Finesse is going to swap out for that op. He connects on to Aryo, gets a little aggressive, but no, he's all on his lonesome at Goose, and too many still remaining. And like you said, CLG, despite the fact that they got up almost completely cleanly to A with, I think they had four guys alive, they just couldn't get into post-plant setups because Affinity was already there. They just kind of backed off, conceded the site, and played for the retake, and they did so mm -hmm. uh, quite well. I, really, the difference between a professional team and an amateur team in that situation is, you know, you're playing retake for long, basically, with how Abe was playing it, and they did exactly that. No one went for, like, a hero play to, to you know, get that bomb out of the hands and, you know, give your team more time. Nothing like that. You know, you just played smart, played it, get your cover, wait for your teammates to get in a better position. I would have liked to see CLG... Maybe stray off one player from that strategy and put him lower B so he could have disrupted the, the um, rotation like we've seen uh, from Affinity in the, in the last half. And already in this round, we see Tarek finally get an opening frag with that op at long. And they completely back off. And now it looks like they've taken mid control and trying to make a move up catwalk as Cutler's there with Tarek. And looks like Tarek will go down to Davey. He takes out Cutler as well, who goes for the trade out. So just like that, the advantage goes back to the CTs as Davey picks up a third round, but he, or third frag. He's brought down to three HP and has to back off. So now a three on two, but they know Davey is pretty licked. If they can pick up this frag to even it up, the Terrace will get the CTs back on the back foot. So now two on two, Davey with three HP as FNS was able to get that frag. And if they go B, it's completely wide open. They got plenty of time to do so. 35 seconds on the clock. It seems like they're starting to suspect that's where they should go, slowly walking through tunnels as Jason R is sitting in CT spawn. He's going to check into mid to keep him honest and start to realize, okay, they're going B. But meanwhile, Davey has to stay along. He can't rotate until they know the bomb is B. Yeah, and Jason oh R is going to get taken <laughs> off. Oh, what an op shot by JDM. Catches him, trying to strafe back into cover in mid. The bang shot through the doors. And CLG is looking to stave off defeat here and force overtime. That's all they can hope for at this point. But Davey with 3 HP, uh, really going to have to pull off some serious heroics here to pick up this retake. Yeah, he really is. But, I mean, I wonder if he's making the decision-making because he has such a good read on the money. At this point, when you're this far into the, into the match, it's kind of hard to stay on top of the money. FNS just strafing out, getting the easy kill on the 3 HP Davey, who did such a good job um, defending that A bomb site. And I love the decision-making by CLG, and I have to kind of scold um, Fox there. Um, he was on Fox playing catwalk was just in a bad position. They knew Davey was there. I mean, you kind of have to think, you know, oh, you know, they lost three players catwalk. If there was any sort of gambling going on, they would know, they would gamble that there's going to be someone cat. So you just walking around on the stairs, not the greatest decision making, um, but CLG doing a great job just sticking together there, FNS punishing Fox for that play. And, ooh, looks like Fox just hiding behind the, 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 the little, uh, 
Kerrigan spot, I guess. He was the first one I've ever seen pull it, pull it off. He's hiding behind the fire. CLG sending four out long. Nade takes him out. And uh, the trade comes in for the terrorist. Arya, knowing that the how, the positioning of all of the terrorists except one, taking a gamble here, going through doors, clearing out those B tunnels. Great information for these CTs. Jason R looks like he's AFK and spawn. I don't know, maybe ordering or picking up the pizza at the door and uh, <laughs> Davey is uh, in A looking at Long and Cutler picks up that kill. All the CLG still at Long. They didn't reroute guys. They're still together. Cutler nice spray control onto A and looks like Jason R is having some sort of issue. Pause coming yeah, in. He may have lagged out or something. Davey calling for the pause. Aria last player who's still here for Finney is actually alive and he's creeping out towards Long. Meanwhile, we've already seen uh, JDM reposition himself in the pit. He's going to get that uh, closing frag onto Aria as yet we do see he did lag out. So we'll get a pause here. Hopefully he can get back in the server quickly. That's a bit unfortunate, but uh, I guess lucky that it happened on a save round for them and not a gun round. Yeah, hopefully we got the uh, you know match medic ready, ready to go so you know no one's skipping a beat here, especially because Affinity has two round um, loss bonus, but... As you can tell, the money saved just by how the dynamic has been so far. You know, that was most of these players are because, up. Yeah, two of them. Abe, I think, had six or seven K, you know, going into that round. And then, obviously, uh, Fox had a decent amount of money as well. So they're flush with cash now. They should be able to buy out whatever they need, you know, once they get their fifth player in here to hopefully get this 16th round. But CLG, they're still on the comeback. They've only succumbed two times to affinity in the gun rounds thus far in this second half. And we talked about it before the match even started that, you know, on these close, you know, not overly CT-sided maps like a dust, like a cash, we see these teams rattle off a ton of terrorist side rounds. And I don't know how much of that is affinity kind of open the door for CLG or if it's CLG kind of just getting their act together in the second half after a, a pretty abysmal CT-side first half. Well, I just think this map caters completely to CLG's playstyle on Terra side. They're very aggressive and, uh, you know, I don't want to say unpracticed. It's more pug style, I guess, so to speak. And I guess I mean, what This I is mean, the ultimate pug map, pretty much. Yeah, ex exactly. You know, so it doesn't really surprise me that CLG's able to go on a run. They have the perfect players for this as, you know, back in the day, on dust to get right when everyone was getting kind of used to this concept uh, of a of a lurker and 1.6 you know get right it was a complete monster on this map really you know just the positioning of putting him in lower and as your teammates are taking a and just getting racking up kills as there's just so many angles for the cts and to to clear out you know, this this map caters to this type of style where, you know, you can play loose and, you know, there's plenty of cover for the terrorists to move around, but yet just the network of just looking at the mini map right now, you know, you could you see that there's like the four corners of B, you know, bat outside of B, A, and long, but then there's just this whole network in the middle where, you know, you can just rotate everywhere and get into position as a terrorist very easily. And uh, for the CTs, there's just a lot of cover that you need to clear out before you can even go into those routes. So, you know, just having the lurk positions ready for CLG, you know, this is what we saw in the last half. Davey was in those positions and did a great job picking up those kills. Um, oh, just, yeah, on the lurk, when, you know, when they come for that swift rotate, when the rest of his team is making that push into the site, he's been very opportunistic. And it's obviously reflect, reflected in his stat line. Uh, but, you know, Jason R, he, he's been the big hitter for them so far. Uh, 1.77 KD. He's, uh, he's got a 10.8 efficacy. We got the stats up on the page right now. And actually, it looks like he just got back in the server. So hopefully we'll get unpaused yeah. and underway. I think he's got the right amount of money. Uh, he's the lightest on cash. But when you take a look at his teammates, plenty to buy him a gun. You got Fox at almost 10K. Abe at 7.3, so we'll definitely have a gun round here as Affinity tries to get that all import 16th and a W on the first map of this best of two. Mm -hmm. I would like to see something off the cusp here from from Affinity, you know, really just get in their face, maybe some do some upper B push or just push through long with a flash, just something out of the ordinary here. CLG, very aggressive, just, you know, it's, it's like the script was completely reversed what Affinity did to CLG. Affinity got those first picks of pretty much every single round, it seemed like. 
and then you know leverage that into whatever they wanted to where you know the the adjustment needed was that you know you want to you want to fight them as CTs on your terms with flashbangs and you know practice push of some sort whether it's tunnels or long like I was saying so I would like to see something like that you know just go off the go off the cusp here you know, it, it seems like CLG is just running away with that. They're expecting you to be, you know, give them the respect, and uh, they're gonna abuse you with it. As we've seen them just go out long. As you know, I don't think I've seen Affinity more than twice or three times really try to defend it, all like all out. So, what do, what do you think about this buy for them? The you know we mentioned J Jason R was light on cash. But instead of buying for him, they get the op in Arya's hands. You think it's more important that Arya has an op and Jason has to just con you know, try to contest with a pistol? I mean, obviously he has a few nades to work with, so maybe if his teammates uh, can get a kill, he can get himself well, there, a gun. Well, there's a rifle on the ground for him. So he, he oh, will, okay. Gotcha. He will have another gun. But good, in terms good, good. of just how much money was expended for them to accomplish this, you know, I, I think... Uh, I think uh, the money might have been wrong. I, I, I don't have, like, I, I wasn't looking at the money right before he was lagged out, so, uh, or at least I don't remember his. Um, if he had the full money it didn't, and it didn't cost them extra, then this buy would be great. I think we'd probably see Arya with a rifle in his hand and, instead, and I think how the money would have evened out a little bit more, probably see a few, two or three players in, like, the 2,000 range. Um, so they would probably would have been able to buy the following round, but now you're just kind of all in at this point. There's two players at zero, and then two players that have around a hundred dollars. So yeah, this, <laughs> this is the you know potential door opening for CLG to really complete the comeback and get yeah. into overtime. If they could pick up this round win, the economy swings hugely back in their favor, and Affinity's basically going to be on the back foot for the rest of the half. Absolutely, it's a, but it's, uh, it's it is it is good that Jason has a gun, and and I think it is smart for them to kind of go all in and make sure that Ari has the op because he has made so many big plays for them. Yeah, and uh, you know, let's see what he does with it. I haven't seen him do anything really special. There's one time they boosted him up, cat, and he just cleared it out and then ran away. So I would like to see him do something special, maybe long, take it over, push through, and then get an angle in the crack right there so then you can you know do something but here we go four players actually paying attention to long four affinity they're actually a decoy from aria with an op uh, middle so he's actually long folks don't don't be distracted by that decoy and uh he's a uh, they have a, a pretty interesting setup here. It looks like they just wanted to honor that long rush as, as CLG has shown that in the past. Now they've just re receded back into the normal default. CLG, typical default from them. They have uh, they have three players working middle together, one at B-Tunnels, one at long. So they're trying to see if they can get a read on Affinity's defense, and Affinity's not giving them anything to work with. C1 pushed up in mid. It's going to be Fox. Just barely peeks through that smoke and drops Finesse in middle. So immediately, CLG on the back foot, and that's what Affinity needed to start out this round. It's been the CLG show most of this half. But all they need is one more round, and they get the W. It doesn't matter how close it is. All they need is the map win. This is their map pick. This is their, theoretically, on paper, their best chance. But JDM answers right back. He finds Arya back at Goose and takes that off, off the table. We talked about how so important Ari is to the mid-round plays, but Abe is going to answer. Somehow gets the shot over the parapet on the Cutler at Catwalk. As Daisy, Davey picks up one on the flank at long, so now it's all up to JDM and Tarek, but they do get the bomb planted. As JDM's going to move up, Catwalk gets the intel that there is one there, tries to back off, connects on one. It's Fox falls oh. it up with the pistol, headshot on Jason R. Huge play by JDM. But Tarek only getting one on Abe, gets traded out by Davey, and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. JDM has position, and he will get the shot <laughs> through the corner onto Davey. JDM with the 4K for CLG to keep their hopes alive. Two rounds away from overtime, and as we said, Affinity going to be on the save. Oh, my goodness. What play by JDM on top of those stairs. Gets that he's strafed, or he, he was just peeked out to where he could have been easily traded by Fox, but Fox completely whiffing that spray, and he just whips out the P250 and just makes a huge impact. Tarek with the follow-up kill, and then that one-on-one -on -one with JDM. Such, such use of angles by both players, and how JDM came out on top of that, I mean, I, I have no idea. So, well done. And CLG fighting for this comeback, man. That round was so expensive for them. Look at the money for the ter for the CTs. They're all in the 2,000 range. They only have pistol. 
So they're going to be able to buy up next round and, you know, defend that, that 15 mark. But CLG, you know, looks like they're having none of it. Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, they want this comeback. They are hungry for it. It would be so disappointing for them to just falter when they are so close here. And, you know, a team that can succumb to eco rounds is they're, they're playing a little passively. They realize that Affinity is probably on the save, but they don't want to just bum rush into a stack and, you know, put themselves in a disadvantageous p position. But uh, a lot of onus is on Jason here. Jason R here at the top of the boxes. He's going to see one does significant damage. He's forced to back off and brings the second one down to half health. It's pretty good on the initial engagement. And slow into the site is CLG. It's allowed the CTs to rotate, and it's going to be Abe at the door. Peeks through, but gets smoked and flashed off. So now the site will go to CLG. They'll get the bomb planted. And already set up to contest with those tunnels rotators. Finesse picks up Davey. Not very much damage done, although they could potentially pick up two more frags. Yes, FNS goes down to Fox, and they're looking for another one on the Cutler, who's only at 8 HP. But it's just Abe hanging outside. And they realize that's where he's at. It'll be JDM finishing off with that P250, just like he did in the previous round. Doing a little bit of money damage, but uh, still plenty of cash for CLG to re-up for this final round of regulation. Will it be overtime after a huge comeback by CLG? Or will it be Affinity closing it out 16 and 14? Yeah, and wow, CLG doing such a great job to get to this point. Uh, I'm not even mad, man. I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's These are the games we love watching, watch. right? It's yeah. a little sloppy, it's a little scrappy, but damn if it isn't entertaining. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect, though? Dust 2 might as well just be called Scrappy Play 2. So <laughs> CLG doing some work here. Molotov's out middle. Nice little, uh, you know, establishing some map control, forcing a rotate a little bit from the CTs. Davies already in spawn, and there's two players towards B. But CLG full cat control. There's never been a presence really from Affinity. Hayes hearing the Fox running around long, and oh my gosh, such a misplay by him. Fox running around, giving up his his positioning, making you know Hayes completely alert that he's in that position, and then just walking through the door, man. I mean, come on, you're a little bit better than that, Fox. I know it. Arya <laughs> picking up a kill on the FS. And Affinity doing great here. Arya Whoa, coming up huge. Arya. And Davey taking uh, JDM to 12 HP. All three C or Terrace are together. And uh, looks like they're just going right back to a reroute, doing a mid B presence here. But there's three players here for Affinity to honor that. So CLG looks like they're rerouting back here now. They know where Davey is. Hayes in great position there. Catches Affinity off again. And now Affinity with two players B. You know, basically your pants are getting caught here, man. Coming out three on two. CLG still all grouped up. And oh, actually, Hayes out B. Making a lot of noise. Finding Jason. Oh, if he can win this one-on-one, oh, -on -one, it'd be beautiful. And look that. That is a that. huge play by Hayes to draw the double rotate over to the B site. He gets one of them in the process, and, you know, they're only able to hold off one. It's now a two-on-one with JDM and Cutler trying to get him to overtime. It's going to be Abe on the retake. He takes out JDM, who was on death's door, but Cutler at full HP. He's in decent position, and he's just going to play the time here. Hanging out on the ramp, Abe checking all the angles, spots him down in CT spawn, does a little bit of damage, has him at 60. Down to 23 is Abe. He's got a molly as well. Uh, oh, what's happened? Abe gets the frag. Does he have the time? He's got a kit. And I think he has it, and Affinity will win it in regulation, defeats CLG 16 to 14. The comeback was thwarted in the final round of regulation, and man, CLG has got to be kicking themselves after the, how that round uh, ended. I mean, they, they got the initial frag off of a mistake by Affinity, but Aria answers back with two huge opping frags to give them the man advantage, and, and just CLG, they, they kind of fell apart in that late round. Yeah, I mean, look, if, 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 uh, if Cutler would have landed that Molotov on top of that bomb, that's a sure victory for CLG. There wasn't enough time. He had 20 HP. It's not like he can eat that flame damage, so um, just unreal how it came out. It, it's literally a game of pixels, kind of like how American <laughs> football is a game of inches. You know, yeah. you fight for every yard. You know, this is a game of pixels, man, and that just small pixel of the ledge right next to elevator was the sheer difference from CLG continuing to fight for their win and, you know, Affinity going away here with a victory, starting off 1-0, coming out swinging, and I, I love it.
Oh, man, what an exciting game, and what a way to end. And I'm sure Affinity breathing a sigh of relief, able to pull out that victory by the narrowest of margins. Uh, you know, CLG, they, they had a monumental comeback. I mean, they only got two rounds on CT side in the first half. Realistically, it should have been a, a you know, pretty quick victory for Affinity in the second half, but kudos to CLG for making a game of it. Just couldn't quite get to overtime, just couldn't quite get there. And, and like you said, a, a game of pixels that – that small mistake. I mean, you can't lay that all on Cutler's feet, obviously. It's just, like you said, if he did get that molly up there, it probably is a round win for them, and we are going in in overtime. But instead, Affinity up 1-0, winning their map pick, and we're going to cash next, which will be CLG's map. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for it, man. CLG, you know, looks like they've woken up now. So let's see if, you know, right out of the gate on cash, on their pick, you know, they just go for, you know, straight... Hail Mary, get get up like an 8-0. I'm ready to see the Tiger be unleashed from CLG. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, you think they're going to be fired up after that. I mean, obviously a better performance by them in the second half, just not quite enough. But given this being their map pick and how many times we they played it, I mean, like I said, they played it six times already in SIVO. I think they played it once in ESCA. I mean, this is a map they love to pick. They feel like they should be able to beat – most of their NA counterparts on this map, despite the fact that maybe their record doesn't always reflect that, but uh, they're gonna—they're definitely gonna come out uh, swinging here in this one and hoping to respond and mm -hmm. get themselves the split. Certainly, would be extremely disappointed if they uh, surrender a loss here.